Thank you, God, for the ark, kids. Thank you, God, for the ark, kids. Thank you, God, for the ark, kids. We're so glad you're here. Thank you, God, for the ark, kids. Thank you, God, for the ark, kids. Thank you, God, for the ark, kids. We're so glad you're here. Hi, everybody. Let's waken up Scruffy. Here we go. Are you ready? After two. One, two. Wake up Scruffy! He is still asleep. Do you know what, boys and girls? Do you see last night? He was having so many dreams. His wee paws kept moving and he was making little cute noises. I wonder what Scruffy was dreaming about. I think he's feeling very tired this morning. Will we try to wake him up one more time? Okay. Are you ready? After two. One, two. Wake up, Scruffy! Oh, I can feel him moving a bit. Yes, I think he's going to come. Oh, Scruffy, that's a big yawn today. Oh, you're a tired wee pup. All your friends are here to see us today. Are you going to give Scruffy a big wave, everybody? Yeah? Well done, well, Scruffy. I'm going to tell you a story today about a man called Joseph. And a lot of boys and girls will know this story. It's a very special story. But when Joseph was sleeping, he had an amazing dream. Are you guys ready to hear this story? Now you sit down there. And here's my Bible. And this story is called A Message for Joseph. And there's Joseph in the picture. Can you see him? The man with the beard. Are you listening? One night Joseph had a dream. It's true, an angel told him. Mary is going to have a special baby. The baby is God's own son. You must call him Jesus. Joseph loved Mary. He was happy to marry her and help her look after the special baby. The Roman Emperor wanted to find out how many people lived in the country where Mary and Joseph lived. So he ordered everybody to travel back to the place where they had been born. Joseph and Mary went on a long journey from their home to a town called Bethlehem. Mary was very tired. Her baby would soon be born, but lots of other people had got there first. All the hotels were full. There was nowhere for Joseph and Mary to stay. A kind hotel keeper let them rest in his stable. And that is where Jesus, God's son, was born. One more time. One night, Joseph had a dream. Everybody, close your eyes. Pretend you're dreaming. Shh. It's true, an angel told him. Mary is going to have a special baby. The baby is God's own son. You must call him Jesus. Wake up now. Joseph loved Mary. He was happy to marry her and to help look after the special baby. The Roman Emperor wanted to find out how many people lived in the country where Mary and Joseph lived. So he ordered everybody to travel back to the place where they had been gone. Joseph and Mary went on a long journey from their home 
to a town called Bethlehem. Mary was very tired. Her baby would be born soon. But lots of other people had got there first. All the hotels were full. There was nowhere for Joseph and Mary to stay. A kind hotel keeper let them rest in his stable and that is where Jesus, God's son, was born. You see, Jesus wasn't born in a hospital or in a fancy hotel, but he was born in a tiny wee stable. And a stable is a place where the animals were kept. So it was a bit stinky, it wasn't very clean, but that is where God chose for Jesus to be born. And I don't know if you can see, there's Jesus sleeping in the manger with his mummy and daddy, Mary and Joseph, and there's the angel. And we're going to, before we say our prayers, we're going to sing a wee song. And it's about Joseph. And it's to the tune of the wheels on the bus, okay? So you sing along when you can, because I think Joseph's a great man. Do you think he's a great guy? Helping Mary and looking after the special baby, baby Jesus. So we're going to sing, Joseph is a carpenter, a carpenter, a carpenter, okay? Joseph is a carpenter, carpenter, carpenter. Joseph is a carpenter all day long. He can chop and saw the wood, saw the wood, saw the wood. He can chop and saw the wood all day long. Joseph is very tired, very tired, very tired. Joseph is very tired all night long. Joseph had an amazing dream, amazing dream, amazing dream. Joseph had an amazing dream all night long. Can you remember what Joseph's dream was? He wasn't dreaming about his dinner or what he was going to do that day, like chop, chop, chop or saw, saw, saw. No. Do you remember the angel told Joseph that Mary was going to have a baby? That was a great dream. Hmm. Can you remember what the baby was to be called? Think, think, think. Yes, the baby was to be called Jesus. Very good listening and very good remembering. Wiggle your fingers, touch your nose, hands together, eyes closed. Father God, we thank you for Joseph, who we have been learning about at story time today. We thank you that he loved Mary and that he stuck by her and that he helped Mary look after the special baby Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are always with us. You're with us when we're at school and nursery and playgroup. And you're with us when we are at home with our families. We thank you for that really good reminder that you are always with us. Amen. Fingers. Whenever you see a rainbow, Whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, remember God is love. Whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, remember God is love. Well done, that was just lovely. And Scruffy, I hope you've wakened up a wee bit, have you? 
Did you enjoy hearing that story about Joseph and about how the angel came and told Joseph that Mary was going to have a wee boy, a wee special baby boy called Jesus? Isn't that right? And next week, Scruffy, we're going to hear more of the story about how Jesus came into the world. Isn't that cool? So boys and girls, we'll see you all next week for story time, won't we? Say goodbye to Scruffy. Bye, Scruffy. I think he needs another little nap because he's still a bit, a bit quiet, a bit tired, isn't he? So it's time for bubbles, for really good listening and for really good singing and sitting and just taking part. You were all so wonderful remembering the names today. Ready, guys? And one more. Lovely. He worked really well today. Well, Judy has to go. And I will see you next time for story time. Bye.